Scoliosis specialists have spent the last 30 to 40 years perfecting the art of what we call spine fusion for scoliosis. The compromise with fusion surgery is that you permanently lose movement of the spine over the entire area that you straighten out. You can never reverse it, you lose that motion permanently. We know that motion is important and we also know that patients don't always tolerate that loss of motion well over the long term. So there has been an interest, a long-standing interest in the scoliosis circles for developing technologies that would allow you to straighten the spine without permanently fixing it in a fused position. One of the solutions for scoliosis that has just recently been approved by the FDA is a device known as Apifix. It's very promising. The early results of Apifix have indicated that many patients can do well, at least in the short term, without traditional scoliosis fusion. This is a new emerging technology. We don't have 10 and 20 year results on it. We have three and four year results, but those results look really good. So the way I've been describing the Apifix technology to families so far, it's an internal brace that corrects the curve without permanently fusing the spine. If you put it in a child who's still growing, the device does have a lengthening ratcheting mechanism that allows it to elongate with growth. But we believe that most of the elongation of the implant occurs when you put the device in place. I see it as something that is going to give families an option that makes you more functional, maintains more motion, and requires a lot less surgery and frankly a less invasive surgery. I can see patients resuming normal activities four to six weeks later. This contrasts with a fusion surgery where patients are typically in the hospital for two to five nights. They have six months of activity restrictions and they probably never return to sports and other activities at the same level they were participating at previously. In my world of scoliosis surgery, these emerging technologies are so exciting to me. I spent two years trying to be involved in this, trying to be one of the first sites in the country that might have access to this technology because I believe that it is going to be the wave of the future. I've done spinal fusion surgeries on thousands of patients now in my career. And I think that spinal fusion has great outcomes. We have long-term data, but it's not as good as we would like. If my daughter had scoliosis right now and had a curve that was appropriate for non-fusion technology, there is no doubt in my mind that I would take that route first. It's something that will potentially maintain motion in my child's spine forever and gives them a hope of not going through a traditional fusion surgery.